This is one simple drill for a professional golf swing. And when I tell you this, you'll be like, well, I used to do this anyway. Why aren't we doing it now? This is Miracle Monday. Guys, welcome back to Alex Elliott Golf. If you are a brand new viewer, well, warm welcome to the channel, welcome to the family. Please do consider hitting that big red subscribe button. It's the one just down there. And um, also guys, if you do enjoy this content at any point, please do hit that thumbs up button. So let's step into the first part of this drill. And I want you to picture this. The first time you started playing golf was probably when you'd watched Rory, Tiger Woods, Phil Mickelson, all these top icons on TV. I know those three right there are my three idols. And when I was growing up, watched them. And I was like, wow, how can I just swing it like them? And this is something that was quite powerful, actually. I'm quite a visual learner, and I think probably most of us who play golf are, because it's quite a visual sport. We've got to picture shots, how do we hit this, see it fading, see it drawing. And if we don't realise it, a lot of us are more visual than we think. So what I used to do with driver, and I had a driver in my hand, I'd be stood here trying to feel, I swing it like Rory McIlroy. And the one thing that was poignant for me about his swing was his right shoulder would be all the way through to target with the driver, and be posing it. So if it's good enough for Rory, it's good enough for us. So what I want you to do is experiment with some feelings of your top icons. Right, can I swing it back? Right shoulder to target and pose it. Because all top golfers have assets of their game which are very, very good. And all top golfers have obviously fantastic golf swings and able to control the club face and the path. But if we could take a little bit of elements of that and apply it to our swing, it's 100% going to help. So what I'm taking from Rory here is a balanced and right shoulder towards target. Okay, here we go. That was absolutely smoked. And just like when I was a kid, when I started playing golf, so guys, I'm just watching that because I'm, I'm just in love with that little fade. I know it's not quite like Rory, he draws it. But my point with this is, if I can swing all the way through, I've turned all the way through, and I'm balanced, then well, it's key to hitting good shots. Right, let's move on to the next part. Mutram Hall on the 16th is as close as I can get to the 16th at the Masters. <laughs> we have the flag at the bottom, I've got to land it at the top and let it come round. But again, my point for this is, a lot of people when they chip, they'll be stand over this and it'll be quite rigid and it wouldn't be flexible to the situation. I want you to work on two things. You look at Tiger's hands on the golf club and it's something that stuck with me when I was a kid and when I was a junior, my hands are nice and relaxed on the golf club and I let the shot dictate what I want to do. And we've got to have that. There's no way if Tiger's technique wasn't sound for the first point, but he wasn't, if he had to be flexible to the situation, he wouldn't have held that putt and it wouldn't have been literally the best logo and the best advert for a certain company. So ultimately my point here is two things I took away from Tiger's chipping and that hole, I can literally picture it in your life. Have you seen anything so good? It's like the best commentary ever, was how relaxed his hands was and how flexible he was to the situation. Here's my attempt at it. In your life, have you seen anything so good? I mean, I haven't quite got the skills Tiger has on the 16th at the Masters on the same here at Mottram Hall, but my point is having your hands relaxed and letting them be flexible to the situation is another key important skill. And everything that we do, we don't tend to copy what the pros do. It's so important being relaxed, letting the situation take control, it's gonna help us pick better swings. We now have two elements, the driving and the Masters shot with Tiger Woods. The final one, I mentioned him earlier, Phil Mickelson. Now, he's not known for being one of the best putters in the world, but for me, how he addresses the golf ball and how he goes through his full routine, something we've got to stick to. The next part is, let's have a look at what all the top players do on the green. Now, a lot of you are gonna say, Alex, oh, well, I, if we copy all the top players, then we'll, the rounds will be really slow, it'll be like six hours long. Well, I'm not saying we wanna take our time. I'm saying, can we use our 30 to 40 seconds extremely wisely. This can be done when our playing partners are hitting their putts or when you've got your time to hit your putt. If you look at all the top players, they do a couple of things. They will stand behind the golf ball, have a look at the, the lie of the ground behind the golf ball. They'll also go to the side of the golf ball because this gives you a great perspective on distance. Not only that is you can see the slopes, 
They may even go behind the hole as well, just to confirm that. And I think these, all these things of you pacing around the putt are valuable to give you a great perspective of what the lie of the ground is doing and what the putt might do. You've got to build up that image in your head. So again, we've copied the pros on trying to be balanced and turn through the target. We've copied the pros on trying to feel as though our hands and body are relaxed and we're flexible situation. Let's use it as a putting routine because they can hold some putts. Damn, they can roll their rock. Right, let's see if I can give it some here. I just want to pull out a few comments from the string drill, which was last week's Miracle Monday. And a lot of you have absolutely been loving that video. So I will leave you a link up here to go and check that out. It's, it's an ultimate one for syncing up the body, feeling it in rotation, hitting bombs. Go and check it out. Guys, so if before I actually read these comments out, and there's some fantastic ones here, if you've got any questions about your golf game and anything that you're struggling with please do comment that down below because i will one either answer them to you directly or two bring out some of the questions here live on youtube for you to listen to the answers and hopefully take a little bit of snippet of information specific to your golf game so this one comes from shane tuxford he said don't know how you do it love your enthusiasm best ever number of tips and drills Thanks so much. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Another one comes here in Love Your New Gear. Guys, if you haven't noticed, new clothing, new clothing. Um, I did a TikTok and it's not something I've actually done before. Felt really cringy doing it, but my girlfriend was like, nah, you've got to do a TikTok. So guys, I'll leave my link to TikTok down here below. Be going sure to check that out and don't laugh. Please don't laugh. Um, and the next one comes in here from Charlie O'Neill. Great tournament, I miss the crowds but had to watch the golf. 18 holes was a killer on the green. So I asked a question at the start of last week's Miracle Monday. What do we think of the golf at the minute? Obviously, well, golf was back with the Charles Schwab and the first event back was that one. And Daniel Berger was the winner. Now with that, what did we think of it? And that's what um, we were applying to there. Some people were loving actually just golf being back on TV and something to watch. Some people found it very strange. I actually quite laughed at Justin Thomas giving it the as if the crowds are there. I think it's really hard for them. These guys are used to putting on a show, putting on a circus in front of people. And I think a lot of them will probably find it hard to get up for these big events. Guys, that's all we have time for on this week's Miracle Monday. See you tomorrow for Training Tuesday.